Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're here with uh, David and Thomas. Thomas, <laughs> yeah. Thomas, who came from uh, Republic. Yeah. All right, yeah. So, uh, David, tell us how Thomas has been fitting into the band so far. Of Very course, you're only going to say good stuff, but let's hear it anyway. Uh, no, it's been working very good. Everything is, is fine. He's, he's not only a good drummer, he's a very good... Um, uh, he, you can mix very socially with him. He, yeah. mixes, uh, he has the same kind of bad humor as we do, and uh, it's been perfect. Were you friends with the guys before you uh, joined the band? No. Okay, but you weren't. Did you know each other just uh, around... Uh, Around town, you from Stockholm? Yeah, yeah. actually, we used to share a rehearsal space back in like '99, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. But it was for like for a couple of months, but like, <laughs> okay. we, didn't, we didn't socialize. And what was uh, the factor? The factor is that got you into the band. Was <clears throat> there anything in particular? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Martin gave me a call and uh, asked if I wanted to try out. So. Is that simple? Because uh, I just uh, to jump off the subject for a second. The Republican stuff was some of the best new old school death metal I've heard in a very long time. But the band just seemed to. The band was officially inactive when you hooked up with this member, right? Yeah, we, we stopped playing like uh, 2004, I think it was. Yeah. And so were you playing at the time? When no, they you? Okay, I wasn't. Right. I hadn't been in a band for like one year. Okay. That, so. And so, how are you finding it so far? Pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> actually, I can imagine. <laughs> pretty awesome. <Yeah. laughs> no, it's been really good. And I, c I can imagine through the sound of Republic, I mean, Snapper was the kind of band that probably had something to do with influences for Republic. Yeah, absolutely. Guys. Yeah. This member was like one of the first death metal bands that I got into, so yeah, it's really a great honor, if you can say. You know. Yeah, I can understand that. And how about? Um, have you got much contact with uh, Fred? Of course, Fred SB. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, because I mean, Fred, I mean, he basically left because of family obligations, right? Oh, yes. And there's nothing else because you guys no, seem to be he... pretty tight. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, it, that was uh, more a question on he was tired of uh, touring. So that, yeah, and he's also so, doing some studio work, right? Is he still doing that? Studio work? Uh, yeah, he's doing that a bit. A bit. Okay, yeah. right. And he works as a sound engineer and he's doing. Uh, Worked in different clubs and stuff. Okay. stuff. He's doing that full time now. I know he has other other jobs as well. <laughs> okay, okay. He's a very busy man, and he has three kids and a wife. So yeah. um, that was his decision, basically, to just uh, quit and uh, kind of live a more a more normal life, a more uh, adult life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But it was a, it was a pretty smooth transition, I guess. Yeah. No drama. No nothing. Just. No drama, but uh, there was a very, I was very, what do you say, upset about the whole thing that he, because he's been there since day one, right? Was that? He'd been there since day one? Yeah, what exactly. Is, yeah. yeah. So. I, I met met up Fred uh, 20 years ago, and uh, we then, then we formed uh, this member together, but uh, he was always the the band leader, so yeah, you seem to take that was, a, yeah. Organization and that. he was booking shows for. A yeah, but yeah. Mar Martin was doing that too. But he was doing okay. a lot of uh, music, a lot of uh, a lot of lyrics, and uh, just uh, basically being a band leader. Uh, the band has to have a, a leader, so uh, yeah. it's. Who's the leader now? I don't know if we have a leader. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Martin does all the bookings and stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's booking all the stuff. Okay, and how's the transition been for you? Has it been, I mean, is this like uh, something you had been wanting to do for a long time? I mean, playing the band on a more full-time basis than you had been? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's really awesome to, make, to get the chance to play a lot. It's like a lot because uh, you guys are going after this to Poland for the Vader University yeah. show, yeah, yeah. which I heard is sold out, is that correct? I don't yeah, know about something. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. It's a pretty good lineup for that. <laughs> yeah. Really. Great and uh, South America. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah, of September. Dance. Yeah. That's gonna okay. be really great. We just been there once. And uh, when was that? Uh, I think it was uh, three years ago. Okay. And it, it seems um, um, I'm sure we touched on this uh, previously. But 
since uh, arm crosses, the boundary seems to have gone through um, a rebirth. Um, it seemed that around the, the last album for Nuclear Blast, uh, which was Hate Campaign, right? Yeah. It didn't seem like the label was really behind you, but then uh, you seem to be the last band in Hammerheart that really got a push from the label, and now mm -hmm. Regain seems to be pretty much perfect. Yeah, they are. You would agree? Absolutely, yeah. They are really pushing us. Pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's correct. That's, that's perfect. Sorry, my, yeah, yeah. my Swedish uh, English. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could make some kind of a sexual joke, <laughs> but, but, we'll, we'll, yeah, but we'll try not to. So, so things then, now uh, with the band, as, uh, as far as like, you know, second album in with, uh, with uh, Regain, and uh, as I said, it seems that things have taken a pretty good step up over the last three albums. Are things more now? Um, where they should have been, had Nuclear Blast behind you all, been behind you all the time. Are you content with how things are right now, in general? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And Th there is always <clears throat> one thing with uh, Fred leaving though, well, he's, he was a uh, big part of his member, so I will <clears throat> always miss him in the band. Yeah. But the thing is, with this uh, this guy in the band, he's, <laughs> he's still... Uh, he's filling the hole quite well. The gap quite well. He's filling the hole. Yeah. <laughs> Another possible sexual joke, but we'll skip over that. You would want to start it. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, so um, is there any, is there anything else um, uh, lined up as far as uh, live work? The yeah. European live work, or we have the South American America? tour after the South American tour. Okay, and then the uh, European tour after that in December. In December, right? That's the one you're doing with um, Samuel and. Flotsam and Jetsam and yeah. some other kind of thrash bands, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, and something. But, um, yeah, is the Metal Easy behind that? Uh, no. no. It's not, no, okay. No, definitely not. Definitely not, okay. We'll leave that at that point. Um, and, I mean, as far as, uh, as far as the future, I mean, can you see this member making another three albums, for example? Is that something that you have in mind? That, that's the thing, I, I never... I never look uh, that far in the future. Right. With, with anything. Right. So I don't know. Who, who, who knows? I, I was, you know, if you would have asked me ten years ago, would you still be doing this in ten years? I would have thought no. Right. Or but even twenty years ago. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And um, a lot of people would say uh, automatically say yes to a question like this, but is, is is the drive still there? As much as I mean, you can't compare it to when you were a teenager, but let's say back uh, ten years ago. Is it there more now, perhaps, because you've got more label support and more push behind you? Do you still feel? Do you still burn for metal? David? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There, there's one thing I I do agree with Fred is I, I am quite tired of the the traveling, the touring part. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, it's 20 years. Is, uh, it's quite hard. You you're not. I mean, there's one thing if you're a teenager. <laughs> yeah, then it's a bit different. Yeah, I'm turning 35 this year, so. It, that's a bit hard, yeah. I can understand that, but it's it's something you're still prepared to do, obviously, if you're, if you're still yeah. here doing it. The, the day I don't feel like doing it, I just quit and yeah. leave it up to the rest of you guys. It's simple as that. 